Good day. The state television campaign of Western Armenia represents the most important news for today, today's broadcast. The newly elected president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosyan, presented the one-year plan of activities. A mother of hero Norai Osolomonia was at the first convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Pace did not ratify the authorities of Baku delegation. Battle of Arara, forgotten pages from Armenian history. Another historical lie about Stepanakert. Support Western Armenian t television. On January 21, the session of the government of Western Armenia was held, chaired by the newly elected president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosyan. During the session, the lady president presented the government's one-year plan. Ms. Lydia Markosyan emphasized, in June 2024, we will organize second session of the first convocation of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. In June 24, 2024, we will celebrate the 8th anniversary of the ratification of the Treaty of Sever by the Republic of Western Armenia. In July 2024, we will participate in the United Nations Assembly on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. On August 4, 2024, we will celebrate the 104th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence of Kirikia and the anniversary of the uh, re-establishment of the National Council of Armenians in Kirikia. On August 10, 2024, we will celebrate the 104th anniversary of the signing the document of the Treaty of Sivers. Ruzana Mkhitaryan, deputy of the Third Convocation of National Assembly of Western Armenia, said in a conversation with correspondent of Western Armenian TV that the cultural community of Eastern and Western Armenia should continue the dialogue, as only on those levels that it will be possible to form certain new concepts on the present and the future, at the same time look into the past. There can no be aware that the past should be forgotten or covered up. Ms. Makhitaryan is going to struggle for Armenian identity and for the United States in the newly established parliament. You can watch Rosanna Makhitaryan's interview on Western Armenian TV on YouTube page. Susanna Vartanian, deputy of the Third Convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, is mother of Norai Solomonian, the hero of the 44-day war. Susanna Vartanian was born in the city of Ararat, Ararat Mars, and her roots are from the village of Halil in Western Armenia. She graduated from the primary school number no. four after Power Sevak, and she got education as a lawyer. Now she lives in the village of Artabung in Vayotzor Mars. She works at the regional state college in Vayotzor. She teaches the subject of law. She stated in a conversation with the correspondent of Western Armenia TV that the preservation of Western Armenia has a direct connection with Eastern Armenia. You can watch Susanna Vartanian's interview on Western Armenia TV on YouTube page. PES did not validate the powers of the Baku delegation. The Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe has voted not to ratify the authority of the Azerbaijan delegation. The document was adopted by 67 votes in favor, 10 against, and 4 abstentions. Nine members of the Turkish delegation and one deputy from Albania voted against. Two delegates abstained from Switzerland and one each from Norway and Bosnia and Herzegovina. With this decision, the de delegation of Azerbaijan was removed from the peace for at least one year, and during that time, the return can only be possible if they fulfill their regulatory obligations. Earlier, the Monitoring Committee of Peace advised the delegates of the Assembly not to approve the authority of the Azerbaijan delegation. The delegation of Baku, for its turn, announced in Strasbourg that they stopped cooperation with the organization and participation in the organization's activities. The Parliamentary Assembly notes that more Azerbaijan has not fulfilled the obligation responsible for more than 20 years since it had joined the Council of Europe. There are serious concerns about free and fair elections in Azerbaijan regarding the weakness of the legislative power, the independence of the judiciary and the protection of human rights. The Assembly deeply regret that they were not invited to observe the upcoming presidential elections, although Azerbaijan has the obligation to send an invitation as a country who is under the subordination of monitoring. The Assembly is also concerned about that the so-called reporters of the monitoring committee were not allowed to meet with persons accused or arrested for political reasons. The Eastern Legion initially deploys to Sinai and Peninsula, where it engaged in several small skirmishes and scouting missions. However, its main role was to serve as a reserve force for EAF and to protect the uh, visual Suez Canal, the lifetime of the British Empire. The Eastern Legion did not see any major action until September 1918, when 
LMB launched this uh, final offensive against the Ottoman forces in Palestine and Syria, known as the Battle of Megiddo. The Battle of Megiddo was a decisive and brilliant victory for the Allies because they managed to break through the Turkish lines, capture several strategic positions, and inflict great losses on the enemy. The Eastern Legion played a crucial role in this offensive as it was the tasked with uh, capturing the village of Arara, which was located on a hill overlooking the Jordan Valley. Arara was defend defeated by a combined force of 4,000 of Turkish and German soldiers who fortified the hill with um, trenches, machine guns and artillery. The Eastern Legion, numbering only 1,200 men, faced the formidable changes as it had to attack the hill from a front that was under constant enemy fire. Recently, Azerbaijan made another sensational statement, claiming that more than 400 modern Armenian Armenians are of Azerbaijan origin. Thus, Azerbaijan, who traditionally appropriate Armenian music, cuisine, cultural and historical monuments, have decided to go further and appropriate Armenian Armenians as well. It is not a secret for anyone, including Azerbaijan, that Azerbaijans are artificially fabricated nationality at the beginning of the last century, which received their name in 1946 by the will of Joseph Stalin. And today they try to justify their existence and perhaps also to prove to themselves their antiquity. Azerbaijans are actively appropriating the historical and cultural heritage of the Armenian, Lesgis, Georgians, Avars, Talish, Udis, and Tats remaining in the territory of modern Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan scientists and politicians have become so skilled in appropriating the foreigner that they have begun to believe that the lies they have invented. Through the series, uh, we are we and our sermons, Western Armenia TV recalls the words of the Turkish soldier Hussein Avni, they spoken after Enver's famous decree of 1916, by which it was forbidden to even speak Armenian. If they want to become the owner of their country, they should change the name, even the smallest village of Turkish, instead of leaving it in Armenian or Greek. So they decided to point their country with all their co colors. Azerbaijan can be called the territory of various ethnic groups, which are united by Turkish policy as a military base of Pan. Turkism is the Caucasus. Many of these ethnic groups are descendants of the ethnic group of Caucasus in Albania, an ancient state that had close cultural and religious uh, to the religious tie to Armenians. As a rule, native ethnic groups in the territory of Azerbaijan live tightly in separate regions and cities, but their number is decreasing year by year, and as a result, Azerbaijan's policy of assimilation. The rights of indigenous ethnic groups are systematically violated. Any clear manifestation of their nationality identity is called separate. Indigenous people don't have any right to put up signs in their native language, in their places of residence. They don't have their own national schools or cultural centers and lo locals. You will hardly find a representative of the nation minority of the given area in the authorities. The head of Baku, Ilham Aliyev, speaking at the sta stadium of the occupied Stepanagar city, stated that Khandedi is an old Azerbaijan region. This village was founded by the Khan of Karabakh, and after that, a large city was created by the Azerbaijan architects and builders with the funds of Baku. The speech of the head of Baku contains blatant falsification and distortion of historical facts. It is obvious that the Turkification of the identity and history of many settlements in Western Armenia as well as the city of Stepanagert is part of anti-Armenian policy of this country's regime. Armenian sources of 19th century official documents of the Russian Empire, where the ethnic composition of the population of the settlements, occupation, landlord relations, taxes, etc. According to Armenian sources, there were several Armenian villages in the administrative territory of the modern city Stepanagar, Valaragan, Bahlul, Kyrgyzstan, etc. At the end of the 18th century, residence of the Shushi Khans was established on the northeast side of present-day Stepanakert, which is referred to as Khanibakh, that is the Khans Garden. These territories become the personal estates of the Shushi Khans and their family members. The above-mentioned territories also included the Armenian settlement of Vararak, which also became a Khanat, Khana village, and began to be mentioned as the literally then village of Khanaket in the 20s of the 19th century. The population of Varagan was quite thinned uh, out. Official Russian documents mention only 40 families of Armenians and their priests, and later the village was abandoned as the population moved to Shushi. In the near future, Western Armenia TV will present historical reviews that will prove the Armenianism of Stepanakert. 
The television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and the viewer, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. Western Armenia TV mainly broadcasts news with political and other context related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as raising various issues. We also present the political transition of the pre President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.